Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow Irish gun Jason Doyle as he invades Yorkshire and shows them how to do it at Revo shooting partridges. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. The SMH Corporate Day commences as the guns gather for the safety briefing and peg draw. Quick uh, scene talk chaps, uh, what do you want to move up Rob? Move up two. Move up two, yeah okay. There are no pegs at Revo chaps so I'll just place you as we go in but we're right to left. On the first drive we're going right to the top of the estate uh, where there's hopefully a bit less fog. Uh, and uh, the low numbers will be at the bottom just to give you an idea, high numbers are the longest walk away from the vehicles. Okay. Please remember, uh, we're in the deep valleys, there are beaters in front of you and pickers up behind, so there must be plenty of daylight around the bird. The first drive, there'll be birds going over your head as well as crossing in front of you. So as long as they've got daylight behind them, they're, they're absolutely fine. Each drive starts with a whistle and finishes with one, so no shooting before the first and no shooting after the second, please. We don't shoot any ground game, anything white or any woodcock. There is an odd white pheasant about, so just, just please be careful uh, with that. Um, if you can pick your shells up uh, at the end of the drive and just leave them on your peg in a nice pile, there'll be someone along to hoover them up uh, shortly afterwards. We've got a bit of soup and pie for halfway round, whatever. Uh, we'll probably have a drink between each drive, etc. So uh, enjoy the day. Jason loads up with the Zenith cartridges. A mixture of English, Irish and French guns get ready for the first drive. Out behind the first ridge, a team of beaters close in, followed by the sun. Jason loosens up, ready for his first shot with the Browning 725 Grade 5 game gun. The first birds show further up the line, but soon Jason will get his first chance with a stunning shot on a partridge. Some of the finest partridge shooting in the country is duly matched by Justin's hospitality. Well, that's the first drive over here at Revo and um, peg two I thought I was going to be out of it a little bit but they were flying the birds from the top of the valley and we had some absolutely stunning partridges coming down. Um, killed the first bird well but the real high ones I struggled to get on them until about halfway through the drive. Um, to be quite honest, I've never put so much lead on birds. Um, putting what I think was 12, 14 foot of lead, so I don't know how high they were, but I really, really enjoyed it. Shot some cracking birds, had maybe 8 or 10 good kills. Um, the Ely's worked really well. Using today, first time I've ever used this gun, um, 725 grade 5 game gun, and happy with it. Uh, tuned into it pretty quick, and those birds were awesome. So. It's, a lot of fun, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll get better. The first drives gathered and trade up by an earnest team of pickers up as the guns enjoy some political humour. 
Ouais, 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 Jason bags a superb high partridge. And then he purchases a bird from one of his hosts. Oh, too slow, too slow, McQueen. Too slow. Oh, yes. Shot, mate. Jason's hands shake from the adrenaline. Adrenaline. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely awesome. Enjoyed it. Thorough picking up continues as the teams of keen dogs are guided by their masters. A quick refreshment and Jason is itching to get up to his peg for the third drive. Um, first drive we had a chat afterwards but the second drive uh, guns were quite close together but we had patches and pheasants over us the estate manager was saying they're 70 80 yards up and quite literally I've never shot birds as high and um, got on really well the zenith copper shot were just awesome I got some great kills on the partridge and um, little browning game going 30 inch barrels half chokes worked well and um, these are brightly chokes I have stuck in it for today but no, these birds are really, really good. We have a, a really steep bank here in front of us that they're flying the birds off. And then behind us, the bank is even higher where the birds are flying to. So they're literally going to be climbing the whole. You see that bird there? That bird's 80, 90 yards up over the guns. So I'm really buzzing for this. Hands are shaking already with the adrenaline. So we'll, we'll give it a crack anyway. Oh, I think too. Well, I've had to call that drive early and um, it was absolutely manic there for two or three minutes literally as fast as I could load I had um, about 50 shells in my pockets and they're they're gone I was out I was back into the cartridge bag absolutely stunning those birds were streaming across big big packs had probably the best bird I've ever shot there a partridge over my um, over my right shoulder I don't know I was getting on for probably 80 90 yards up I'm not I'm not sure but best bird I've ever shot and killed it stone dead um, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. I shot a cock pheasant two pegs down, but it had just swirled as I missed with my first shot. So I shot it in front of the guys. So I'm going to get some stick over that, but absolutely awesome. The fourth and final drive is pegged close to the duck ponds. Quite a spectacle as some of the flight lift away.
The final whistle goes after another hectic drive. So Justin and Johnny, thanks for a wonderful day. Um, thanks to you and the SMH boys for having me along. I've never shot at or seen birds anything like it. Um, quite a lot of them were too good for me, but <laughs> I'd love to have a go at them. And well, that's thanks very so kind. much for having yeah. me. No, that's very kind, very kind. Well, it's been great having the guys today and uh, the new team and uh, they've shot very, very well and uh, I'm glad you've enjoyed it and obviously it's down to these boys what uh, they do behind the scenes which is the most important thing and uh, you know we try and shoot um, you know, really good birds um, and uh, plenty of them if we can show them. Uh, today's been good conditions mainly, uh, it's been a little bit bright on one or two of the drives but um, I was pleased with the way the birds flew and uh, as long as everybody goes home happy that's the most important thing. Eight guns here today. Um, which has been great. Um, we normally shoot eight. We do get smaller teams. I think the smallest we've ever had is two, was it? Yeah. Totally. That was a birthday party, a gift from a friend to a friend, and uh, they were certainly worn out by the end of the day. Um, but uh, the eight guns today, uh, we've had Chris and uh, Greg out as well, helping out host a bit. And, uh, and then behind the scenes, um, the team of pickers up, obviously, and the beaters, all local lads. And you know, we, uh, we, we're on most days here, so it's, uh, it's a good thing for the local community and everything. Um, and it's nice to see the game going locally as well. We supply a couple of the hotels in, in Helmsley and um, the, a couple of the pubs at, uh, at Harem, don't we? Yep. With quite a lot of game and venison and, and all sorts. So um, it's very important that, that that side of it runs well as well and it ends up on people's plates, uh, which is great. So um, I'm just glad you've really enjoyed it, Jason. It's been great having you over here and uh, great of Rob to bring the team down here. and. Uh, uh, everybody's going home happy, which is the most important thing. So um, everybody's taking a few brace home as well, I think. So I hope they enjoy those uh, on the plate. And uh, hopefully we'll see you back here in the near future. I hope so. And thanks again for having me. It was it's a pleasure. Fan fantastic day. Pleasure. Thanks, pleasure. Guys. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. pleasure. 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 Jason and the SMH boys there enjoying a day at Revo. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Key pro shooting amendments to the Policing and Crime Bill have finally passed. The law changes see expanding ammunition used for deer stalking moved back to Section 1 and an automatic eight week extension on any certificates that police have failed to process and renewal for in time. The Countryside Alliance said it had been pushing these amendments through since March and now they finally made it through the House of Lords. The bill is expected to get royal assent and become law soon. Wildfowlers have welcomed white-fronted geese back to Wales. There'll be no shooting of the birds as a voluntary moratorium remains in place. Shooters recently won a legal battle to keep white fronts off the no-shooting list and wildfowling clubs say they'll get stuck into conservation efforts now that the geese have returned to the Duffy estuary. John Dryden, the chair of Basque's Wildfowling Liaison Committee, emphasised that by working together we can help ensure the geese return to their breeding grounds in Greenland in the best possible condition. If you're a wildfowler, make sure you pick up iShoot magazine every month. Red kite conservation is a huge success in Scotland. That's the message from the Scottish Gamekeepers Association responding to an RSPB report on red kites commissioned by SNH. The SGA pointed out the significant role its members played in raptor conservation, such as ringing red kites and running rodenticide courses in accordance with best practice. It also welcomed the fact that the potential impact of wind farms on raptor populations was mentioned in the report. According to the SGA, if a tiny minority were engaging in illegal practices, they had no encouragement from the gamekeeping community. And finally, do you fancy yourself as a shoot photographer? Basque Scotland has launched a competition where you can shoot your shoot and get featured in the next Basque calendar. On top of that, you could win a pair of Swarovski binoculars or a two-day shooting experience. Basque wants photography that shows every aspect of a shoot day, from the guns to the beaters to the conservation aspect. Follow the link on screen to find out more. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.